For more on this nuclear power plant debate and if it could pose a danger, I was joined earlier by Arnie Gunderson, chief engineer of Fairwinds Energy Education. I first asked him if people in that California community should be concerned. If I were there, I would be very concerned. You know, the, the, the new steam generators were supposed to last 40 years, and they only lasted 10 months. So uh, starting that plant back up is, is an experiment, and I don't think we should experiment with Southern California. Uh, interesting. You know, as a former nuclear power industry executive, what dangers have you seen in your work uh, in using nuclear energy? You know, the San Onofre is the worst plant in uh, the last 12 years, the worst mechanical failure. Um, but there was a mechanical failure out in uh, Ohio back in 02 um, that we were about two weeks away from a meltdown there. It seems like about every 10 years there's a real serious mechanical problem, and we just catch it right before the, uh, a gross failure occurs. And I'm just a little concerned that I don't want to be part of a process that keeps just catching problems. Let's nip this one in the bud. Uh, yeah, I mean, we saw the devastation that played out in Fukushima, Japan. Could something like that happen here in the U.S.? You know, the worst plant in the country, as far as evacuation plans go, is, is San Onofre. Um, when they built it in the 60s, there was nobody near it. But, of course, Southern California has grown dramatically in 50 years. So it would be almost impossible to evacuate the people that have to get out. Um, yeah, it's the, it's the worst plant, and you've got seismic risks, and you've got these steam generators that are just an experiment waiting to go wrong. So are you a, propo a proponent of never opening that plan, period, or, or do you think there needs to be more studies, more precautions, more preparation that needs to be done before that plan is open? Well, at a minimum, the public should have a chance to have a licensing hearing on the process. You know, that my position with, with Friends of the Earth is that we're entitled to a hearing about all of the design calculations that right now we're not really privy to. So um, I don't know that we need to shut it down, but I'd sure like to see the calculations before we let it start up. And the NRC is not really willing to let that happen yet. And why not? They're a pretty secretive agency. You know, it, it's the term is the nuclear priesthood. And they, um, of course, they believe that the sole responsibility for safety is theirs. Um, you know, tell that to the people that live near a power plant, and they might feel a little bit differently. So um, this agency historically has a record of, um, uh, of supporting the industry it's supposed to be regulating. And that's a concern, which is why Friends of the Earth went in and tried to get a licensing hearing and, of course, there's a lot of process still to go before we determine whether or not that's going to happen. Now, according to the, to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, nuclear plants generate 20 percent of the electricity in the U.S. That's a pretty good chunk there. Um, what are the alternatives if, if you're in favor of getting rid of this form of energy altogether? Yeah. I didn't suggest I'm in favor of shutting all the nuclear plants down today. Um, I don't think that's, that, that's reasonable. As you said, what are the alternatives? But, you know, there's a couple of outliers, like the San Onofre plant, that, that's awfully old and broken. That should be shut down on economic grounds. Um, the, the people in Southern California are paying close to seven or eight hundred million dollars, plus the cost for the repair, which is another seven or eight hundred million dollars. You're into this for over a billion dollars, and you've got a plant that hasn't run in 14 months. Okay. I, last up, I do want to ask you. Um, certainly, you pointed out a lot of a lot of glitches, a lot of uh, very troubling um, things that could go wrong over there in California. Is there a way to administer nuclear power in a way that is safe and sustainable? Well, we need a regulator that actually enforces the regulations we have. If that had happened, San Onofre wouldn't have had this problem. Back in 04, there was a process that should have occurred where the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would have looked at this new steam generator and said, whoa, it's got problems. Well, San Onofre managed to skirt around that problem and, and not use the, the legal process 
And um, so if we enforce the laws we have, we can have um, fewer chances of, of meltdowns like we almost had at San Onofre. Yeah, certainly um, we don't want what happened over there in Fukushima to happen here on our uh, own shores. Uh, really appreciate, appreciate you coming on there, Arnie. That was Arnie Gunderson, Chief Engineer of Fairwinds Energy Education. Thanks for having me.